This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're thinking about creating an online blog, store, or portfolio, Squarespace is the place to be. Aside from them having 24 seven customer support, they also have built-in designer templates, which are easy and simple to use. So if you guys are interested in bettering your online presence with the website, make sure you guys head over to squarespace.com right now and start your free trial. And you guys can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Links will be in the description. What's going on guys? First and foremost, I wanna say happy new years to you guys, man, bringing you guys into 2019 with the bang. Let's get into it today. It's gonna be a what's in my camera bag. I'm gonna try to run through two of these a year just to kind of update you guys throughout the year with new gear if I get any throughout the year. So if you guys saw my last what's in my camera bag video, this isn't gonna differ from that too much. I've changed my initial bag and a few of the things in it, but the majority of the stuff is gonna be the same. If you guys are new and you're just seeing this, this is all gonna be a complete surprise. So let's just get into the backpack itself. So this right here is the Manfrotto Pro Cinematic balance bag and for starters this thing is freaking massive this is a really huge backpack but it packs a lot of stuff in it that's the benefit of it so i'm just gonna run you guys through the backpack and show you guys what it can do and uh why i decided to pick this thing up so uh like i said this thing is massive it has a bunch of compartments a couple right here on the side you can see um for little things first one on the side right here uh this is my raft power external battery i use this to power things when i'm out in the field my phone batteries Anything that can power via USB, this thing is amazing. It has 26,000 milliamp hours in it, so amazing. Lasts for hours, lasts for days. If you're out in the field, man, you're gonna need something to power your devices. So that's that. We got a little pocket right here, which I don't keep nothing in, but this is cool to have if you guys wanna, you know, put some stuff on the side of the backpack. Go to the front. So this big, huge uh, portion right here of the backpack is really cool. Slide this open. Within this, I have a couple little baggies. These little clear bags, I'm not sure what brand they are from. I'll make sure to drop everything that I'm talking about within this video down in the description though. These things are amazing. For one, they're clear so you can see everything that's inside of them. You know, if you're like me and you have a ton of wires and a ton of miscellaneous accessories that you guys just carry with you on the go, these things are amazing for that. So within this one right here that you see, I have uh, step up rings. I have uh, lens cleaning utensils as well. Microfiber cloth. Uh, little blowy thing and I also have a few clothes pins in here as well to mount gels to lights and stuff like that so if I had some miscellaneous stuff that I keep within these bags this is just one of uh, a few I typically have like three of these in my bag I only have two at the moment and once we get into the actual backpack you guys will see that it's not a lot of things in here more so because a lot of the main things that I use I'm actually utilizing right now at this moment, but we'll get to that when we open the bag up. So within this clear bag, I got a couple batteries, one for my monitor, my small HD focus, a few for my Sony a7 III that I'm filming on right now. Uh, another thing that I keep inside of this little pouch is my memory card holder. We got a camera strap for the a7 III. Always keep that on hand if you wanna stabilize your footage on the go and you don't wanna use a stabilizer. And uh, right here is my red kit. Now I don't have a red, but this thing comes in handy for a lot of the stuff that I do on set. It has a bunch of different, uh, it has a bunch of different tools on it for different size threads. Uh, we have a flathead right here, which is the one that I use. I end up using the most, the flathead, but it has a bunch of different other things as well. It has a screwdriver right here and uh, a bunch of different hexes and uh, octagonal things. I don't know what any of these are called, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, every now and then on set, you have to adjust something. So this thing comes in handy. And when I do pick up a red, if I do in the future, this thing will be uh, necessity anyway, so this thing is cool. That thing comes in so clutch. So another thing that I have right here is uh, my DJ Iron and M bag. This is all the accessories for that, the little mounting screw and a uh, little hex screwy thing and all that. Also right here within this are just random HDMI cables for different cameras that I may be using. It's on the a7 III, 60 Mark II, or any other camera that needs a HDMI cable. This thing is pretty cool. It has the big portion of it right here, and then it has two little pockets right here up at the top that you can separate the finer things that you may need to separate. And I like this little portion of the backpack a lot. I keep the Ronin toolkit up here in this one, and then my HDMI cables right here, and then I just kind of let all the other miscellaneous stuff sit within the big portion of it, so. Uh, that's the front of the backpack, hold on. We got a couple drawstrings right here for whatever reason. I don't really tend to adjust those. We got a little pocket right here as well with a zipper that you can stick a wallet in here or you know a passport or I don't know. I don't really use it, but now this backpack has one special trick up its sleeve and 
probably the main reason that I picked this backpack up. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have like a pistol grip gimbal or like a single handed gimbal or like something lightweight gimbal wise that you guys travel with. I used to use the in-case DSLR Pro backpack. If you saw my last, what's in my backpack, that was the backpack that I was using. But man, I had such trouble traveling with my Ronin S within that backpack. It's amazing for just camera gear and like accessories, but for a gimbal, it just wasn't cutting it for me. I'm not one of those people who likes to put my gimbal on the outside of the backpack just because it swings a lot and it hits itself and then it's just loud and like jingly and I just, that's just not me. So props to Zoom for creating the locking mechanism on the gimbals. Salute to y'all, that's such an awesome feature, but I don't have one. So uh, this backpack right here can actually support gimbals. It has an entire space specifically for gimbals and once I figured that out, I was like, yo, I have to have this backpack. So let me show you guys it. So if we slide it to the side right here, it's a little zipper. Undo the zipper right here, and we slide this back. You guys can see it's an entire portion, an entire slot right here, but the top four gimbals, or if you have like a Gorilla Pod, or you just have anything that you wanna put within this little portion right here, it's specifically for stabilizers. So before I even take that out, let me just show you guys also it's, a laptop sleeve in here as well, which is super convenient. Houses my 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is the MacBook that I keep with me pretty much all the time when I'm out traveling or on the go. It's amazing for editing photos and doing lightweight work on it, but it's not the best editing machine, but it's lightweight. So, I mean, with all the other stuff that you guys put on your back, you're gonna wanna have a lightweight computer to uh, kinda, you know, take some of that weight off your back. So it's a laptop sleeve in here as well. And it's very padded, you don't have to worry about the gimbal hitting it or uh, getting damaged or anything like that. So I'm gonna close that and then I'm gonna take the gimbal out. So this is my Ronin S within this backpack as well. I'm gonna just take it out and put it to the side. You guys have all seen a Ronin S before. I just wanna show you the little section in here for a gimbal. So uh, yeah, it's two big sections. There's one right here, a little part at the bottom where you would typically put like the handle where the battery goes and then at the top part right here would be the actual gimbal portion. So it's a big slot right here on the side of the backpack and it's awesome. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to create different slots within the little cube portions of backpacks. You know how you can use the Velcro to create different shapes. That's what I had to do with my end case. I don't have to do that. I just take it off, slide it straight in, zip it back up and uh, it's good to go. So this is the main reason that I picked this up. I love this feature of this backpack and it's one of the main reason that the backpack is so heavy. But yeah, let's get into the actual backpack. Slide this around. So this backpack is an access from the back of it. So uh, I guess that's a negative for some people. Some people want it to be accessed from the back because uh, you know you don't have to put the backpack on the ground and get your back dirty. So uh, I don't find it a negative. I actually enjoy using it this way. I don't know, something about having that back access and then having to flip the actual, uh, the straps back and then, uh, I hate that. I can definitely see why some people would think that was a positive. So here we are into the actual backpack. I'll show you guys a couple of the things that I keep in it. Um, this is my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is the microphone that I typically use for vlogging or you know, any time where I don't have time to sit down and set up a lavalier system or a boom mic. So love this microphone, it's really nice. It has a bunch of different features. It turns on when you turn the camera on, it turns off when you turn the camera off. So huge plus in that aspect. Now, uh, another thing that I have in here is my 50 millimeter Canon F1.5. Always keep this lens, I love this lens. You gotta have a 50 millimeter. It's one of those lenses that aren't super expensive depending on which version of it you get, but it just provides a really nice quality. So gotta have a 50 millimeter. Next lens is the Canon 100 millimeter F2.8. Now this lens is like a beautiful lens, man. It produces some of the most beautiful imagery and footage and photos that you guys can even imagine, man. This thing goes all the way down to a 2.8 and it's also macro, which is a super plus. Macro shots just create a whole nother vibe, man. And the close-ups and the lens compression that this lens does for footage and photos is just astounding. Other than that, we got my Bose Bluetooth speaker. Really cool. Always gotta have a Bluetooth speaker when you're shooting music videos. You need bass, you need sound to get the artist hype and actually into the music and the performance for the music video. Huge necessity right there. And I mean, it's a few other open slots in here for other things. I'm using the Sony a7 III right now with the Sigma MC11 adapter and also the Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4 art lens Canon mount. Other than that, the camera that you guys are seeing from the overhead view is the Sony a6000. 
this isn't my camera. I'm using this for a project and a video that you guys will probably see tomorrow. But on that lens is my Sigma 24 millimeter F1.4. And that's the lens that I typically use for a lot of my sit downs and just my vlogs for the content that you guys see. I'm also using my small HD focus monitor, five inch, uh, which would also have some space within this little portion as well. So you don't see a lot, but I'm using a lot to create this video that you guys are seeing. Other than that, we have a little portion right here, which is probably my second favorite thing about this backpack. It's like a little mesh area over here to the side, which houses a bunch of stuff. So uh, I like this because it's open. It's like another area that you guys can store some miscellaneous stuff. So within it, I have my Aperture MX light. Love this light, I always keep it on hand. It's something portable that I can use to light some stuff and little, little areas where I can't put in a big light or uh, I just don't think to. So always keep this on hand, it's such an amazing little light. Always gotta keep this in my backpack. That lives in that little portion of the backpack. Slap this back in here. Also in this portion are my Tiffin Black Pro Mist filters. Use these a lot for a lot of my content. Creates a nice, soft, bloomy look to highlights. Probably should be using one right now with the way these lights look in the background, but you know, you don't always think about it. Gotta keep these in there as well. Also within this little portion, I have uh, my ND filters. This little thing right here, I'm not even sure what brand this is. I'll make sure to link this down in the description, but uh, it houses all of my filters. So it's four different slots in it. I have a bunch of different variable NDs for different size lenses. Um, and I also have one of my Pro Mist filters in here as well. So this is really cool. And I got a bunch of different uh, lens caps and camera caps within this little portion of the backpack as well. So now another really cool thing about this little mesh portion of the backpack is you can actually access it from the side of the backpack as well. So uh, if I just unzip this, it's like a little opening. And if it's something important in here that I need to access from the outside of the backpack, I could just do that. So makes packing and uh, accessing things really easy. So that's kind of it. I'll make sure to link everything that I talked about within this what's in my backpack down in the description. If you guys have any other questions about what's in my backpack or what I typically travel with, make sure to leave those down in the comments as well. I'll get back to those ASAP. Appreciate you guys, man. Uh, make sure to drop this a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Peace out, man.